What's going on, nation? If you've been struggling with adding size to your chest, you've probably by now labeled yourself a hot gaina. Personally, though, I hate this title because to me it comes across more as an excuse to give up on finding the real reason why you aren't seeing muscle gains. I mean, at the end of the day, it really isn't that hard to build muscle. Eat right, train hard, hydrate, and sleep. But there is one thing missing from that equation, and that is mind-muscle connection. You might be hitting every chest exercise in your program as hard as you can, but you may not be getting enough muscle fiber activation to spark a lot of muscle growth. So, since conventional training isn't enough, we'll have to think outside the box and come up with a way to force muscle growth, and that's using a method I call the stretch flex overload. This method is basically a triple set of three different exercises, but they're not just randomly thrown together. Each one serves a specific purpose in order to help spark growth. The first exercise will place the majority of the resistance during the negative when the chest is at its fully stretched position. The second exercise will place the most resistance during the peak contraction, which is when the chest is flexed. Then, after we pre-exhaust the chest with those two very specific movements, the third exercise is something that will place a maximum load on the entire chest when we know the chest will be at its weakest link in doing the majority of the work, rather than the triceps or the shoulders taking over the movement. So in a nutshell, the first two exercises will help establish a stronger mind-muscle connection, and the third one will destroy the chest using as much weight as possible. So for this workout, you guys are going to be using the following three exercises. The first exercise is going to be the dumbbell fly for the stretch. The second exercise is going to be the plate press for the flex, and you'll be using two smaller plates instead of one big one, and you'll be pressing them together. And the third exercise can be a chest dip or a dumbbell press for the overload. I also recommend using a spotter if possible for these exercises so you can really push yourselves to the limit. Now, what I want to do is quickly go over proper form for each exercise so you guys can avoid injuries and maximize the benefits of each movement. So for the first exercise, guys, you're going to be doing a dumbbell fly and you're going to be doing it on a flat bench. Now, for this movement, it's imperative that you have proper form because that can make the difference between tearing up your shoulders and tearing up your chest. And obviously, we want to tear up the chest when doing this exercise. So what I like to do to get into position is kind of just kick back and get the dumbbells in the air. And now you'll notice that I'm kind of on the bottom of the bench right now. And the reason why I do that is because I try to get my shoulder blades as tight together as I can or as attracted as I can right here. And then I slide back like this to really make sure I'm getting my shoulder blades pinched and squeezed together as much as possible. By doing that, it's going to put you in a position to where the dumbbells are already lined up over your chest. A lot of people don't retract their shoulder blades, so what happens is they, their back is flat like this, and the dumbbells tend to travel more over the shoulders, and that's when you start to have problems, and that's when you can run into some like rotator cuff injuries. So you don't want that. So slide back, keep those shoulder blades together, and like I said, the first exercise is focusing on the stretch. So what you're gonna do is keep a slight bend in your elbows, and you're gonna come out and bring it down as far as you can and really focus on that stretch in your chest. And once you get that nice stretch at the bottom, you're gonna push up through, come to the top, and you're gonna repeat this for eight to 10 repetitions. So all the way down, get a deep stretch in your chest, feel that mind-muscle connection activating, feel those chest fibers stretching, and then bring it back to the top. And again, you're keeping your shoulder blades retracted the whole time and the, the, the path the dumbbells are moving is on and over your chest, not over your shoulders. And what you're gonna do is complete eight to 10 repetitions of this, then as soon as you're done, we're gonna go into the next exercise. The second exercise is called the plate press. And for this movement, you're gonna lay down the same exact way you did for the flies, really retracting your shoulder blades, but for this exercise, what you're actually doing is pressing your hands together as hard as you can. And if you stand up right now and do this, you're gonna see some activation throughout your chest. Biggest thing with this exercise, though, is by pressing the plates together, when you fully extend your arms at the top, that's when you're gonna feel probably one of the hottest contractions you've ever felt in your chest. It's gonna basically put you in the fully flexed position. 
So what I'm going to do is grab these two 25 pound plates. I'm going to roll back and I'm pushing my hands together. I'm not using my fingers to go inside of here. I'm putting my hands flat and I'm pushing the plates together. That's imperative guys. Shoulder blades retracted and you're going to push up all the way to the top and then bring it back down. And you're going to repeat this for eight to 10 reps, really flexing your chest and squeezing throughout the entire range of motion. Now I do understand that some of you guys might not be strong enough to use two plates like I'm using, or maybe you're using the 10 pound plates and you want to go a little heavier, but they don't have 15s that you can squeeze together or 20s. It is okay to use just one flat plate to do this exercise, as long as you're really focusing on pushing your hands together. But any chance you get where you can take two plates and push them together, it's gonna make it like 10 times harder because not only are you pushing your hands together and, and flexing your chest that way, but you have to squeeze and, and compress your hands so tight to keep these plates from sliding and moving, which is what makes the exercise more intense. So, Really try to use two plates if you can, but if you only can use one, that's okay too. And the final exercise, guys, is gonna be a dumbbell chest press, or if you want to, you can do chest dips, and I'll demonstrate form for both. Now, it should go without saying that you're probably gonna have to use a little bit lighter weight doing the dumbbell chest press as the third exercise in this tricep. So don't get discouraged if you use the dumbbell press in like 80s and you have to drop down to like 60s. It should be obvious why. But to perform this movement, you're going to do the same exact thing you did for the first two exercises. You're going to roll back, get those shoulder blades pinched, and then slide back to make sure they're nice and tight. Once in place, I like to slightly turn my elbows in to ensure the dumbbells stay over my chest. And I'm going to really focus on coming out and down, getting that nice stretch at the bottom, and then pushing through to the top, getting a nice flex at the top. And you're going to do eight to 10 repetitions, just like this, not going too fast, not going too slow, just going fast enough so that you can feel all those chest fibers activating. And as soon as you complete eight to 10 repetitions of this exercise or the chest dips, which I'll show you next, you're gonna rest for 90 to 120 seconds and then start over and do three more rounds. All right, so the last exercise I wanna show you guys is a chest dip and this is an alternate for the dumbbell press. And the way you perform this movement is very different than if you're doing it for triceps. I actually have a video that goes over in detail the differences between dips for chest and dips for triceps, and I'll link to that down in the info section below. But to give you guys an idea what you're supposed to do, you're gonna go to the dip station, and then instead of going straight down and straight up and keeping your chest up when performing the movement, you're actually gonna basically almost kind of lean over and bend over forward as you do the reps. So for example, you're gonna get yourself up in a top position like this, and then you're gonna lean forward and go down as low as you can, and then push yourself back up. Lean over as low as you can, and push yourself back up. Just like this, to focus on your chest when doing the dips. And now again, you're gonna be doing eight, 10 repetitions. And another note for you guys, I'm facing out just to kind of show you guys proper form. So I have to actually put my feet around this pole right here. If you were doing this exercise, I recommend crossing your legs, making sure you're keeping your glutes nice and tight, making sure you're keeping your core nice and tight so you can put all the focus in your chest as you rotate forward and then go back up to the starting position. And obviously when you get to the top guys, really stretch, I mean really flex and squeeze that chest so you feel the muscle fiber activation. Now that you guys have a clear understanding of proper form for each movement, for your next chest workout, you're going to perform four rounds of this tricep with only 90 to 120 seconds rest between rounds for a total of a 15 to 20 minute workout. Remember guys, because this is a tricep, there is no rest between exercises, only rounds. Then, make sure you're performing this workout two to three times a week max to ensure you're breaking down and rebuilding the chest throughout the entire week. Lastly, it's, a good, it's good to note that if you really are a hard gainer with a fast metabolism, you don't really wanna spend one to two hours in the gym for each muscle group because you'll be wasting precious calories that you need to build muscle. 
So the idea behind this workout is to find a way to absolutely destroy your chest as fast as possible and get the most growth out of that workout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I know if you take this routine seriously, you'll definitely see some growth in your chest in just a few weeks and if you'd like me to create quick routines like this for other muscle groups you're having a hard time with, smash that like button and leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. Click that notification bell so you never miss a new video upload and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.